my name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And today we are talking about high shine lipsticks, specifically the new ones that have come out. We'll also compare them to some of the ones that have currently been on the market. So I do have individual reviews on the three newest, you know, market entries essentially. So we've got the Chanel Rouge Coco Blooms. We're also going to look at the Chanel Rouge Coco Flashes. We have the new Guerlain Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom lipsticks, the new Gucci Rouge de Beauté Brilliant or Brillant lipsticks, and then also we are going to take a look at the Chantecaille Lip Veils and Lip Cheeks as well. So we're going to go ahead and compare all of those. Now I do have lip swatches, so as I'm going over the details for each of these particular lipstick formulas. I'm going to show you the lip swatches. Now I did my best to try to take like a light shade and a deep shade from each of these lines so that you can kind of see how the pigment applies and so forth. With the Gucci, both of the shades I have are on the lighter side. So unfortunately it wasn't possible really to do that one, but the others I have something light and something deep so you can kind of get an idea of how the pigment, you know, applies, how even it is, how deep it is with one swipe and so forth. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off with the Gucci. The new Gucci Rouge de Beauté Brillant Glow and Care Lip Color comes in a wet glow finish. They have a glowy finish with an ultra moisturizing formula. They have a creamy texture and the idea is to preserve the natural beauty of the mouth so that lips look more full and plumped. And like many of these other formulas, they have been using flower oils and fruit butters, hyaluronic acid, and your lips are supposedly saturated with pigment. Now, these lipsticks retail for 42 US dollars. You get 1.8 grams of product for that, which breaks down to $23.33 per gram. These are a hybrid lipstick. They are a mix of a sheer and a satin lipstick formula with a luminous finish. They have an 18 month shelf life and they are made in Italy. Now, as you can see from these lipstick swatches, I do have two lighter shades, but they are on the more sheer side. So you really want to build them up. This particular formula is a very soft formula. So it's more of a whipped texture. It's very creamy and comfortable on the lips. When you first apply it, it does tend to sort of soak in and then the wear on these can be a little bit uneven as you are going through your day. In my opinion, they are not a very long lasting formula. They feel great on the lips, but again, you're not using, uh, you're not getting a lot of product and you actually end up using quite a bit of product to build up the color. So just something to note with this formula. Moving on to the new Guerlain Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom lipsticks. These are presented in a gold case and they have what I consider the three block packaging and it's very comfortable to hold in your hands. For these, you get a total of 3.2 grams. These are made in France and they retail for 39 US dollars. This breaks down to $12.19 per gram. Again, just like the Gucci, they are using some floral ingredients. So there's floral lip care in here. It's hydrating. They use hyaluronic acid, shea butter, winter rose extract, and so forth. And according to Guerlain, there is a 24 hour hydrating feel on the lips and they will help care for your lips if you use them daily. So these have a shiny fi finish with an exceptionally melting texture smooths onto lips, lusciously dressing them in sumptuous color and watery shine. That is from the Guerlain website. There is a fragrance, and by the way, there was also a fragrance in the Gucci lipsticks. The fragrance for this is considered a vanilla, floriental, delicate, and light fragrance. And I would tend to say that it is lighter than the Guerlain Rouge G lipsticks that I have. Now, one thing to know about the Guerlain lipsticks, they have one shade, 258, which can also be used as a primer. It's also a color changing shade, so it will turn into a more vibrant pink when you first put it on. It is very soft, almost like barely there kind of pink, and it will turn brighter. It doesn't turn into one of those fuchsia pinks, but more of a brighter, warmer pink than fuchsia. So uh, more of a bright petal pink. 
these Gare Long lipsticks feel very comfortable on the lips. I find them to be very hydrating on my lips and they last about the same as an average lipstick, especially something that is more of this balm lipstick kind of hybrid. So I would give it about three to four hours, you know, depending on how vibrant you like your colors, but the actual feel and comfort level of the lipstick does remain for quite a while with these. As you can see from the lip swatches, the Guerlain lipsticks are a bit more pigmented in color than the Gucci with one swipe, but they are still on the more sheer side. And again, these are going to be a lipstick balm hybrid with a shiny finish. Next up, we have the Chanel Rouge Cocoa Flash. And you can see that these have a gold band around the center and there is a translucent top to the cap so you can see the shade inside. These retail for 40 US dollars and they have three grams, which breaks down to a total of $13.33 per gram. These are made in France and there are currently 35 shades in the Rouge Coco Flash line. And just like the other lipsticks we have looked at so far, they have an 18 month shelf life. The Rouge Coco Flash is a comfortable lipstick with intense color that transforms on contact with lips for an enhanced high shine finish. They are intensely pigmented and the formula features an innovative blend of oils to moisturize and glide smoothly onto lips. Now, in my opinion, these products, they feel like they are a lip oil lipstick blend. They have a thinner, oilier texture on the lips. It is very comfortable for those of you who like this particular texture. I personally find them to be very comfortable and they do have a thin texture so you don't really feel like you have very much on your lips they so these are a little bit more firmly pressed in the tube than something like the gucci so all i mean by that is in order to get the comfort and the pigment on your lips you do not need to use a little product so you are not using up what you have purchased very quickly for application if that makes sense these lipsticks do come in a range of shades. You've got lighter shades and you have deeper shades. I have a mix of shades personally, and some of the deeper shades are not quite as pigmented as the one that I have shown here in the swatches, whereas others are. So you do have a range of pigmentation levels as well. Now, in my experience, the Rouge Coco Flashes last approximately two to three hours on the lips, but if you are using one of the more vibrant shades, the stain from the color will remain. So these are going to be lasting just slightly less than the new Guerlain Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom lipsticks. And part of that I think is just the fact that there is a thinner texture to them. So it wears away a little bit faster. Next, we have the new Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks. And these have a similar packaging to the Rouge Coco Flash, but they have a silver band around the center instead of a gold band. They also have the translucent cap. And these are going to also retail for 40 US dollars. They currently have 20 shades in the line and there is a total of three grams. So they are exactly the same size as the Rouge Coco Flashes. So they break down to a total of $13.33 per gram. Now the Rouge Coco Bloom lipstick is going to be very different from all of the other ones here today. They combine long wearing intense color and a high shine finish with hydrating benefits. It's a new patented formula. It glides on smoothly so lips feel comfortable and soft while looking vibrant, full, and supple. Now in my opinion, these feel a little bit creamier on the lips than the Chanel Rouge Coco flashes. They still have a bit of that lip oil texture that you feel from the flash, but it's more of a creamy lipstick mixed with that. So you actually do feel a little bit more product on the lip as well. And this is gonna be a softer formula in the tube than the Rouge Coco flash. So you are going to end up using a little bit more of this product. It's more like, you know, it has more air in the formula. It's a little bit more whipped, even though it's not quite, I wouldn't call it a whipped lipstick formula. So just in comparison to the flashes. So with the Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks, they have a range of shades, 
The majority of the shades all run fairly warm so far at this time, but they do have cooler tone shades. Unfortunately, those are going to be on the deeper end of the spectrum. So the lighter shades are all gonna be leaning a bit warm. So just something to note, but it is a brand new line, so I'm sure they will be adding more shades to this range. Now, this particular formula really is fairly long wearing with a caveat. The high shine finish is not long wearing. I actually end up with a little bit of a longer high shine finish with the Rouge Coco Flash formula than I do with the Rouge Coco Bloom. That high shine topper effect kind of fades away in about an hour, maybe two hours. Whereas the pigmentation on here, if you put this lipstick on and you allow it to set on your lips for a little bit without like eating or drinking or anything like that, then the pigmentation will stay nice and even all day on your lips. And you can easily top it with gloss or lip balm or reapply the Cocoa Bloom or whatever. And you have nice, fresh, comfortable lips. They do not dry out my lips but I do personally like to have that you know, creamy texture on my lips. So I do like to apply something after the high shine finish wears off. So just something to note there. And both of the Chanel lipstick formulas also do have fragrance. And next we are taking a look at the Chantecaille Lip Veils. Now these are not a new formula and they have been changing the prices on these. So they have retail for $48 and you can still find some shades for $48, such as the limited edition shades from the fall 2020 collection, but the permanent range now, as well as things that are being added to the line retail for $49. And these are going to give you 2.5 grams of product. And that breaks down to $19.60 per gram. Now the lip veil in the permanent line comes in blue rectangular packaging and supports space for giants, but with the limited edition shades that come out for different collections, the lip veils may support a different charity. The lip veil from Chantecaille is a light gliding lipstick that gives a luminous veil of pure hydrating color. It's a modern statement making lipstick that glides on weightlessly, kissing the lips with a coat of pure bold color and it is infused with fair wild and organic baobab oil, leaves lips feeling incredibly smooth and soft. And the lip veils are going to be a thinner formula. It does not have the lip oil feeling of the Rouge Coco Flashes from Chanel, but it does have that same thinness of texture on the lips. These are really a lipstick lip balm hybrid, but the type of lip balm it is is it makes me think of those like translucent thin lip balms that are a little bit uh, drier in texture. So it's not gonna be like a super creamy lip balm. It's the kind that is a little bit more firmly pressed in the pot, if that makes sense. So you're able to get a thin texture on the lips and pigmentation will vary in this line. The more vibrant shades, can be very pigmented and again, will stain your lips. These are not going to be as long wearing as something like the Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom. And with the lip veil texture, I would say that it falls right in between the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash and the Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom texturally. And when I say that it falls between them, again, it's not gonna have that lip oil feeling that either of them do, but the actual feeling of how much product is sitting on your lips is going to be right in between the two of those. So it's still gonna be on the thinner side. Moving on to the Chantecaille Lip Sheiks. So the Lip Sheiks come in two different packaging. A lot of the limited edition shades that have been coming out for different collections have been in the rectangular packaging, similar to the Lip Veil, but they will have the particular animal that supports the charity for that collection. So if you are purchasing it in one of these limited edition packaging, this is gonna be two and a half grams and it retails for 48 US dollars. Again, they I don't know if these will be changing price at this current moment. I have only seen these for 48 US dollars and this breaks down to $19.20 per gram. 
but if you purchase a lip chic in the permanent line they come in the round packaging here and this is going to be more of a thin stilo style lipstick but it's not going to be as thin as something like the gucci these retail for 39 dollars and you get two grams of product which breaks down to $19.50 per gram. So actually the limited edition packaging is slightly more cost effective. The Chantecai Lip Chics are an exceptionally comfortable formula. It's easy to apply and creates an even finish that is shiny but never sticky. Leaves lips fuller and decidedly more youthful in appearance but never irritated. Combines the high shine effects of a gloss with the rich even coverage of a lipstick. And I would tend to say that this has more of a glossy finish than the Chantecai Lip Veils. You have color. They are a little bit more sheer than the Lip Veil formula. But when you build these up, it's almost as though you have pigment with a layer of a clear gloss on top. And I wouldn't, it's not going to be more of like a gloss, more of like a thicker, clear balm, really. So they are very comfortable on the lips. They are going to be thicker and creamier in texture than the Chantecai Lip Veils. But in contrast to the Gucci and the Guerlain and the other Chanel's, these are still going to have a little bit more of that drier formula. It's more of a stiffer formula, if that makes sense. So it, it doesn't feel like it's sliding around your lips. It doesn't have a heavy proportion of lip oils like some of the other formulas. So it's definitely something to note. These all have different textures. So I hope all of that information on the different lipstick lines was helpful. Now let's go over a few sort of like some rankings of these. So first we're going to talk about the textural feeling of these lipsticks. So how much product it feels like you have sitting on your lips. Now keep in mind, all of these are going to be a lightweight formula. None of them feel heavy and thick like a traditional creamy lipstick. So they're all definitely going to feel lighter in texture than that. So these are all light. And the very lightest on the lips that feels like you have the least amount of product would be the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash. That really feels just like a thin coating of a lip oil on the lips, but yet I have not had issues with it going past the boundaries of my lip lines. I do typically tend to wear a clear lip liner or any lip liner just kind of around the edges to be on the safe side, but I have not had issues with that one bleeding or feathering. I can see it happening though. The next thinnest in texture would be the Chantecai Lip Veil. Again, that's going to be a very thin formula. Instead of having that oily texture, it feels more like a thin balm on the lips. So it's going to be a little bit more gel-like than the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash. Going up in texture, the next thinnest would be the Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom, which again, you feel more of that thin lip oil texture with a little extra creaminess. Following that, if you apply just a couple layers of the Gucci, that would be the next thinnest in texture. However, if you're going to build up that product so that you have a ton of pigmentation, that will actually, the Gucci will end up being the thickest on the lips. So it really depends on application of that one where it will fall. Following the Gucci with a couple of layers, then we would move on to the Chantecai Lip Chics, which are going to have a thicker texture on the lips. And again, this is going to be a stiffer, more balm-like formula on your lips. So it's not necessarily going to have as much glide on your lips as some of the other ones. And it just feels slightly more dense. Next up, texturally, we have the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom Lipsticks, and these are going to have a creamier, more whipped texture on your lips, and they will sink in as you wear them, but you will still remain, there, there will still be some of that creamy texture on your lips, even after some of it sinks in. So it does kind of like melt in a little bit. So then again, after that, we would have the Gucci if you apply that in a lot of layers. So again, all of these are going to be a light texture, definitely lighter in weight and feeling on your lips than a traditional lipstick. Next, let's do a little ranking in value. So we're gonna take a look at how much product you get 
for the actual cost. And again, some of these products you may be able to purchase on sale, creating even more of a cost-effective value, but we're going with regular prices here. So the best value is actually going to be the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom Lipstick, which breaks down to a total of $12.19 per gram. Next, we have the Chanel, both the Rouge Coco Flash and the Rouge Coco Bloom are going to break down to $13.33 per gram. And following that, we have the Chantecaille. The Lip Chics are going to be $19.20 per gram in the limited edition packaging or $19.50 per gram in the regular packaging. And then we have the Chantecaille Lip Veils for $19.60 per gram in the regular packaging. And the Gucci lipsticks retail for $23.33 per gram. Now for pigmentation, the most pigmented are definitely going to be the Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom. And then for the other brands, it's really going to depend more upon the application and the color that you choose. The Gucci is definitely going to be the least pigmented out of these particular brands, although I have not tried the more vibrant shades in the Gucci line, so perhaps some of those will perform a little bit better than the lighter shades that I picked up. So overall, lasting time, again, for pigmentation, the Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom is definitely going to be the longest lasting for color, but for comfort and hydrating feeling on the lips, I feel that the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom actually leaves a creamier feeling on my lips longer than anything else, but it's not gonna be a significant difference in the amount of time that I have that creamy feeling compared to some of the others like the Chantecaille Lip Chics, which are going to be very similar in how long they last. And that sums up everything for my comparison of these. So I think, you know, there are definitely some great choices. The Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks are definitely going to be the most unique out of all of these. And I think if you're interested in a high shine lipstick, definitely take a look at the different properties of these and they all behave slightly differently. So see which properties definitely suit you the most. I would like to mention that all of these lipsticks do have some sort of fragrance. And even with my Chantecaille ones, my lip cheeks in the regular packaging and some of my older lip veils, they don't seem to have any sort of scent. I can't smell anything, but the newer ones do have a vanilla scent to them. So just something to note there that there is a fragrance in those, uh, at least in the ones that I have. And the Gucci has a floral fragrance and the Guerlain has a vanilla floral fragrance and the Chanel has, you know, one of those perfumey fragrances like all of their other lip products. So just something to note there, definitely take a look at the different characteristics, see what you like the most. And I don't think you can really go wrong with any of these. Uh, you know, there's definitely good and bad points to, <clears throat> there are definitely good points to each of these lipsticks. So it depends what you're looking for. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful and I will see you very soon. So have a great day and stay safe and healthy.